Welcome to the Weymouth Relief Road. We're starting here at the Manor Roundabout end and we will be journeying up to Ridgeway Hill. We've just gone over the Manor Subway and now heading across the Manor Railway Bridge down to the Asta Roundabout. Just slowing down so we can explain to you from the Asta Roundabout you can turn right and head on to Harriers Roundabout which lets you into the park and ride site but on this occasion we're going to go left and join the main relief road carriageway up to Dorchester. Just heading down into Two Mile Coppice now and you'll note that the railway track is to the left of the road and the relief road follows pretty much the line of the railway track all the way up to Ridgeway. Just up ahead you can start to see the Lawton Lane Bridge this is a green bridge so it will blend into the surrounding area and also act as a wildlife corridor. Over the top of Lawton Lane Bridge there is a bridleway and cycleway and also Lawton Lane to make sure that it stays connected with Dorchester Road. Just around this corner is the South Down Ridge area. This is where an Iron Age settlement was found during the earthworks and it's also an area of great geological interest. As we round the corner you'll see the South Down Ridge Bridge and the South Down Ridge Bridge is again another green bridge and it has a bridleway and cycleway over the top of it. Now heading into the Littlemore Gap, you'll see the environmental barriers on either side of the gap so that the nearby residents are protected from the noise of the road. And up ahead you can also see Littlemore Road Bridge. This bridge allows Littlemore Road traffic to continue without disrupting the main carriageway of the relief road. Just coming into Jurassic Roundabout. From Jurassic Roundabout you can turn right and join Bink and Bumps Roundabout which allows access onto Littlemore Road. On this occasion we're going to be going left and staying with the main relief road carriageway up to Ridgeway Hill. We're just diverting off the main relief road carriageway now and you'll see up ahead the alignment of the main carriageway which from the Jurassic roundabout to the top of Ridgeway is three lanes. That's two lanes northbound and one of which is a crawler lane. This section hasn't been dug out yet but we'll continue along this diversion and drop back onto the main carriageway We're back on the main carriageway now and up ahead you can see Chapel Lane Bridge which has farm access, bridleway and cycleway over the top of it.
just entering the knoll area of the road and on the left you can clearly see the black tarmac of the cycleway and footpath that goes from Manor Roundabout all the way to Staging Roundabout in Dorchester. Up ahead you can also see the Ridgeway cutting which has the road through it. This will become greener over the years, it's been seeded with local grass seed and also local wildflower species. On this occasion we're going to drive straight past the Binkham Junction and head straight up to Ridgeway Hill. The Ridgeway area is where, during the advanced archaeological work, many Neolithic burials were found, a round barrow was excavated, and also the unique Viking burial pit was found. We can see the Ridgeway Green Bridge and the burial pit was found on the left hand side just before you get to this bridge. The Ridgeway Bridge is again another green bridge in this area of outstanding natural beauty and acts as a wildlife corridor as well as blending into the surrounding area and it has a bridleway and cycleway over the top of it. And just on Ridgeway we're going to now join the alignment with the existing Dorchester Road. You can see on the left there the diversion road which was built during this part of the construction works. And up ahead you can see Swallow's Rest. And this is where our journey is going to end. Thank you for joining us.